Hey everyone, what is going on? And we have another showcase for you today in the Flying Cup, and I am enjoying the Flying Cup so much. Fast paced battles. It can get a little tedious at times, I guess, because you see the same Pokemon over and over again. Altaria, Aerodactyl, Emolga, Skarmory, right? But I still enjoy it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this team. We have Shadow Gliscor with Shadow. Avidactyl and Shadow Gyarados. So triple shadow team. This is a Dragon Tail Gyarados and that Avidactyl only has one move. And yeah, Gliscor is, uh, I haven't seen, I personally have not battled uh, Gliscor yet. But yeah, either way, let's go ahead and just dive right into the battle, see how they play out. Uh, so right now, we're going to see a crunch from that Gyarados. Gyarados does go down. Uh, Avidactyl is coming in. And going to be able to farm down very nice. Shadow Avidactyl is so powerful. I mean, I've beaten... Water types with I beat a water gun Pelipper with just rocks throwing from Aerodactyl. I've beaten a Mantine. It's absolutely I beat Mantine, I didn't even have to shield. That's how crazy it is. Shadow Aerodactyl is broken. Either way, that's gonna be a good game, very well played. We're gonna go ahead and dive right into the second battle and see how the second battle plays out. Going to be that Shadow Glissquit into Talonflame. Okay, Aerodactyl would be amazing. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't have it, but we're going to see a switch trying to get ahead. Oh my gosh, they're staying in. They stayed in and they just go down. What is that? Like, f maybe four rocks throws? I'm not even too sure. Dragonite coming in. Oh my gosh, just rocks throwing all day long. You don't even need two moves, to be honest, on Aerodactyl. I've had people come into my chats on Twitch saying, hey, my Shadow Aerodactyl still has frustration. Can I use it? Yes, you can. You could give it a second move. Even if you don't, I mean, the rocks throw damage is what really matters. Uh, so... Either way, even if you have a Frustration Shadow Aerodactyl, totally fine to use, no problem at all. The Rock's Throw is the damage. Um, or if it's single move, that's fine as well. You don't need two moves. I mean, you could just go with the Ancient Power as its trainer is. Usually they shield a Shadow Aerodactyl, depending on what it is, but usually uh, you get a shield from them. But either way, uh, Gliscoy is going to go for a Sand Tomb, the opposing Gliscoy, and this Gliscoy is going to go ahead and go for this Night Slash. This Night Slash is going to connect, and that will KO the opposing Gliscor, and that is a good game. Very well played. Let's go ahead and dive right into the next battle. Um, so I forgot to cut out these intros. That happens occasionally. I do apologize for that. Another Talonflame lead. I personally have not battled Talonflame myself, but very cool. We do see a switch into Aerodactyl. They are staying in as well, so Talonflame is going down. Aerodactyl, oh my gosh, cannot be stopped. It literally cannot be stopped. I mean, comes Togekiss. Oh my gosh, look how much Togekiss is taking. Holy cow, we do see an ancient power from this Aerodactyl that will pick up the shield. And Togekiss is almost gone. I mean, just wing attack it down with Gliscor, right? Uh, honestly, you could probably drag it down, but I would bring in the Gliscor. And in comes Crobat, very spicy. I haven't seen a Crobat either. It's a really spicy team by the opponent. Uh, we're going to see a Night Slash come out. And this is going to connect. Very nice. Getting the boost, you love to see it. Probably worth the shield, yeah. I mean, even if it's a Poison Fang, which... Okay, good bait by the opponent, but that's fine. Should be able to wing attack down. Yeah, able to wing attack down. You love to see it. So in comes that Togekiss. Wing attack down that Togekiss. And that is going to be a great game. These battles are fast-paced, uh, ladies and gentlemen. They really are. I mean, the set can end super fast. Uh, so Shadow Aerodactyl on the opposing side. Okay. Um... So, yeah, I mean, this even, I mean, Aerodactyl is even chunking away this Gliscor. This is absolutely insane. Gliscor is going to go ahead and go for this Night Slash. Going to be able to pick up the shield. Uh, they're going to go ahead and pull the switch into Gyarados. But look how much damage Gyarados is taking. In comes Zapdos. Zapdos will be hit with a crunch, but will it decide to shield probably? So it can Thunder Shock down. Yep, the shield makes sense. So down goes da Gyarados. Uh, man, these games are so fast. Aerodactyl is coming in, not before an attack is coming out, so Aerodactyl is going to go ahead and shield this one. Going to be a Thunderbolt, so that is a good shield that would have KO'd. And in comes Aerodactyl. They're going to go ahead and throw an attack, but the Shadow Shiny Aerodactyl, beautiful Shiny by the way, is going to go ahead and shield. Uh, and we do see a farm down. And in comes... Okay, I didn't see what came in, but whatever came in is going to be hit with an Ancient Power. It's probably super effect. Oh my gosh, it's an Articuno. I battled a couple Articunos myself. I like Articuno. I've personally beaten uh, beaten the Articunos myself, but still, I love uh, Articuno. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, so, okay, we do see a Drift Blim, so we're going to see a switch out into Gyarados. Uh, so, okay, totally fine. 
Icy Wind maybe. Gyarados is going to go ahead and shield this one up. It's going to be an Icy Wind, so um, that's fine. In comes Alteria. Trying to get to the Outrage. Most Gyarados do not carry Outrage, so the Alteria might not shield this, calling a possible crunch. They do not shield it. Doesn't KO thanks to the debuff from the Icy Wind, but still, it almost does. That is crazy. So much damage. In comes Drift Bloom. Trying to get to a crunch. Able to get to it, you love to see it. I mean, this should probably force a shield, but still, getting off this crunch, getting that shield, taking out that Alteria, Gerudo certainly did what it had to do. They're also going to throw their energy, which is really good. So you could bring in that Aerodactyl and farm down. So able to farm that down. Incredible. In comes, oh my god, Miss Quirion. So uh, these are actually a little bit lower ranked. Uh, you can see this trainer. Well, now they're, they're ranked 20. They were ranked 19, I believe, last battle. Uh, so we saw some battles against rank 15 trainers, and that could be why, and there's nothing wrong with that. We're just having a good time here. We love watching battles. Um, but either way, next up, Gliscoy into Noctel. So Noctel, really pretty spicy. Yeah, I mean, I would say definitely really spicy for the Flying Cup. We do see a Night Slash um, picking up that boost. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. We're going to see another Night Slash. This might get the shield because of the boosted Night Slash. We'll have to see. Yeah, it does get the shield. Okay, so Noctel is going to go ahead and go for an attack, but Glisco will go ahead and shield it. Gonna be a Psychic, okay? Um, so Glisco wants to get to a Night Slash. Oh no, it's going for the Farm Down. They do get to another attack because the Glisco is going for the Farm Down. Uh, and it's gonna be another Psychic, okay? So down goes Noctowl. So what is going to come in now? Gonna be a Skarmory, so that is a really common Pokemon. But this Glisco does have multiple Night Slash attacks and it is boosted, so that is huge. Doing a lot of damage. Going for the Earthquake now. Okay, Earthquake is single resisted, but it's still gonna, probably still gonna KO. Oh, Sandtomb, excuse me. For some reason, I thought they had Earthquake. I don't know why I thought they had Earthquake, uh, but it's actually Sandtomb. That is my bad. I've been calling it Earthquake this whole time, but it's actually Sandtomb. Um, so, okay, down goes Gliscor, and we do see Aerodactyl come in. Aerodactyl is gonna be able to farm down. No, they do get to an attack, so they're gonna have to take this. But Aerodactyl is resisting Sky Attack. Can it take it? Yes, it can. Even though it's really frail. In comes that Skarmory, but it's almost gone. Coming out is the Ancient Power. So this is going to KO that Skarmory. And there we go. And that is going to be a great game. Aerodactyl actually picking up a boost. Not that it mattered, but that was very cool nonetheless. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move into the next battle. This might be the last battle of the video. I'm not too sure. Okay, Mana Buzz on the opposing side. Not a good matchup for the Gliscor because Night Slash and Earthquake, or not Earthquake, I don't know why I call it Earthquake. Sandtomb all resisted. Uh, they're going to bring in their Aerodactyl, and they both go down at the same time. Usually, unless you have one train of legs, it's usually how it plays out. Um, but I guess, I mean, IV is definitely a matter as well. But uh, Gliscor coming in, oh, going up against that Mana Buzz as well. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this. Uh, it's going to be a Dark Pulse. It's going to do a lot. Another one will KO. Uh, they're going to go ahead and go for the Sand Tomb attack. I, just to debuff it, right? So the wing attacks do more damage. Um, we do see a shield. That is beautiful to get that shield there. Uh, because I didn't think they would be able to get a shield. So we're going to see a Night Slash come in from this Gliscor right now. That, I mean, I mean, Glisco putting in work uh, against the Mandibuzz. You can't lie about that. But Glisco will go down now. Aerialace will pick up the KO, but that's fine. Uh, in comes Gyarados. Out comes Alteria. But Gyarados is not a dragon type, so it's not taking super effective damage. It's dishing out super effective damage. Gyarados has to shield this one. It does have two shields. I have lost in this meta with two shields remaining. Um, sometimes I get a little bit too greedy with my shields. Okay, we have two crunches. This Gyarados should be able to pick up the win. It's going to be able to go for one crunch. I think it has another one built. Uh, no, it's going for the Outrage, which makes sense because the Crunch is resisted. It probably would KO, but better be safe than sorry. Outrage definitely will KO, and that will be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Never mind, we have another battle. Excuse me. I almost put in my uh, ending there, but no, we actually have another battle. We have a Gliscor into an Articuno. Okay, we do see a switch into Aerodactyl. They're staying in with Articuno, so Articuno is going to go ahead and go down immediately. So that is so good. And in comes this Alteria. That is amazing for the Aerodactyl. So Aerodactyl will go ahead and go for the Ancient Power. They don't shield. Oh my gosh, this Aerodactyl is going crazy. It takes out two Pokemon. 
and in comes Gliscor, but this is a Fury cut of Gliscor. I mean, this is going to be a good game. You could just... I know this isn't Waterfall, it doesn't really matter. You could just drag and tail down. They're going to go ahead and go for the Crunch, which is totally fine. Maybe go for a debuff. And this is going to... They're just going to let it go. And that will be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.